So I've been a, a Foresight Sports um, product owner for a few years now, as well as Swing Catalyst. And uh, there's not a lot of videos uh, out there with the integration of the launch monitor from, uh, in my case, the uh, Foresight Sports GC Quad, the integration with Swing Catalyst. So I thought I'd make a, a short video and um, give everyone an idea of what the integration looks like. And um, the full software integration with Foresight Sports, whether it's the GC Quad, the GC2, or the GC Hawk, enables all ball flight and club data to be stored together with the video recordings. So a pretty, pretty neat um, option to have. And if you guys are into the video analysis of your golf swing along with the launch monitor data, um, this video is definitely for you. So I thought I would keep it simple, keep the video short. This isn't a tutorial on how to use um, Swing Catalyst and the options of Swing Catalyst. Uh, there's plenty of great videos on uh, the internet. You can go and have a look at those. I'll include a few of the links uh, below for some good tutorials on how to use Swing Catalyst and some of the options that are available. Um, today we're just looking at the GC Quad integration and some of the data and what it looks like on Swing Catalyst with the integration. So right off the bat, we're gonna we're gonna hit a golf shot. Um, I'll do another video at a different time, showing you some of the hardware I use, the cameras that I use for Swing Catalyst. Um, we'll talk about that in a in a different video. But uh, right away, we'll just uh, hit a good golf shot. We'll have a look at the video, and we'll walk through some of the data that the GC Quad stores. <clears throat> so once you've hit your golf shot come down and we just drag the, the previous uh, shot that we hit and right off the bat it's going to show us our ball flight and if we watch the video I'm currently in 18% uh, speed but if we watch the video from the full takeaway to the impact uh, once we make impact with the golf ball it's going to show us the uh, ball flight in the top right hand corner of that ball flying so um, right now I'm hitting an uh, 8 iron, it's showing you uh, the ball flight, the trajectory, um, the direction, that was just a slight draw, it's, I'm not sure if you can see on your video, but it just crossed, uh, crossed the line to the right and came back to the left side of our center line on our, on our uh, fairway. Um, off line, three feet, and uh, we have our ball flight data down in the corner uh, with the club path, so we're 2.6 degrees. Um, face the path uh, open, our dynamic loft, our, our club path, our swing plane, etc. Uh, we are 4.4 from the inside to inside out swing. Uh, we can click on the next tab that's just your club data, showing us our angle of attack. Again, our club path, uh, face the path, club speed, ball speed, and smash factor. Um, next tab over, we're looking at the spin axis, so we're uh, 4 degrees to the uh, left slight draw and then the backspin of the golf ball slightly low for my 8 iron um, 6600 rpm and then the actual flight uh, launch angle uh, launch direction again with the ball speed so um, pretty pretty nice options to have again i'm using the gc quad so i get a lot of the club data uh, the, there's a few other launch monitors that uh, do integrate nicely with um, swing catalysts let's bring the settings page up and if we have a look at the hardware's tab in the settings of Swing Catalyst, we can see that TrackMan has the integration, um, Flight Sculpt products, the Full Swing, Sim, uh, obviously the Foresight GC2, uh, GC Quad, GC Hawk, and uh, SkyTrack. So depending on the launch monitor, you may not see all of the data that I have here. Cause of course, uh, with the Quad, we have the, the club data as well. So um, a nice integration, great options. There are a few different uh, layouts, and we can get into the layouts. Um, currently, I'm using uh, the data layout, but uh, we can get into uh, two cameras and look at the two cameras side to side. We can have the face on and then down the line swing, um, run them through, and, uh, and look at each and every shot. So these shots, um, we can analyze one at a time or go back and forth. We can pick out of our stack and just keep dragging our stack and uh, analyze different shots. One pretty neat feature that uh, is inside of Swing Catalyst, this really doesn't have anything to do with the, the integration with the launch monitor, but uh, since it's here, there is a tempo and a rhythm option. So basically what you have to do, if you're curious on your tempo and your rhythm, you're wondering if your swing is a, a little slow or a little fast, uh, whatever it might be, we can come in here and click on our bookmarks and we'll set our bookmarks up 
basically, we're going to set it up at the start of the takeaway. We're going to set at the top of the backswing just as we start to come down, and then the impact position. Just set up here at impact. And basically, what we're looking at, and I set mine, I typically, if I was extremely curious, I'd uh, spend a little more time, a little more detail setting these bookmarks up. But uh, that's pretty close. Our backswing here for this particular um, shot, um, 728 milliseconds. For the backswing, the downswing, uh, 222 milliseconds. And it's showing our, our uh, ratio for our rhythm over here. But the bar graph down on the, on the bottom here, uh, our bar graph is ending up right here in the ideal section, right at the start of ideal. It's definitely not slow. It's not fast. It's right in the ideal, if anything, getting closer to a, a fast total swing of 950 milliseconds. So pretty cool option inside Swing Catalyst. But um, that gives you an idea of the integration that we have for the launch monitors um, inside of Swing Catalyst. Uh, there's quite a few other options that we could go through, but again, not a tutorial on the options of Swing Catalyst themselves, more the integration and what it actually looks like. We can change our speed to uh, full speed and watch the ball, ball flight just travel. And again, uh, switching our separate options into the launch monitor our club path, et cetera, for each and every shot. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of what the integration looks like for a launch monitor to Swing Catalyst. If anyone has any questions, feel free to comment below, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.